we have the investments done by two people that is mr sayed and mr fernandez mr sayed he invested rupees 40000 in a bank at 8% compound interest for two years on the contrary for mr fernandez invested in mutual fund an amount of 1 lakh 20000 for two years and after two years mr fernandez got 1 lakh 92000 He is asking us to find out the more profitable investment. Who's done? Whose investment is more profitable? So let us find out the profit earned by Mr. Syed. Okay. So principal is equal to forty thousand in Mr. Syed's case. Rate of interest is eight percent. Time period is two years. So therefore. Amount is equal to principal into one plus R upon hundred raised to the power n. So that will give us that is equal to forty thousand one plus eight upon hundred raised to the power two. So that will give us forty thousand. Hundred and eight. How many times? Two times. Hundred ones are hundred plus eight. How many times it is? Two times because it is raised to the power two. So your four zeros will be cancelled. So you have to multiply four into hundred and eight into hundred and eight. Now the square of hundred and eight comes out to be. Eleven thousand six hundred and sixty-four. Okay, you multiply this by four, you will get forty-six thousand six hundred and fifty-six as the amount. This is the amount earned by Mr. Syed. Okay, so how much will be the profit earned? So therefore, profit that is compound interest. Will be amount minus the principal. Amount is forty six thousand six fifty six minus forty thousand. This is the principal. So the profit earned is six hundred and six thousand six hundred and fifty six rupees. Now we will find out the percent profit. Percentage of the profit is how much? So it will be the profit that you are earning. Upon the investment, how much investment you have done? Forty thousand multiplied by hundred. In my previous videos, I have put the formula also. That is the profit on the investment multiplied by hundred. Okay. So the two zeros are cancelled. You are left out with six six five six upon four hundred. So this, if you multiply ones are four ones are four. Remainder is two. Four six a twenty four, remainder is two again. Four six a twenty four, okay, and uh, decimal point will come. Four six a twenty four, uh, remainder is how much? One, so that will give you four four a sixty. So out of hundred, in the denominator there is hundred. So after two digits you will put the decimal point. Sixteen point six four percent is his profit. Okay, now let us go for Mr. Fernandez. For Mr. Fernandez, we can do it over here only. This is for Mr. Fernandez. What is his investment? Investment is rupees one lakh twenty thousand. This was his investment. See, he invested one lakh twenty thousand. How much he got after two years? One lakh ninety-two thousand. So return after two years is rupees one lakh ninety-two thousand. So profit will be. The amount after two years and the initial investment minus the initial investment, so he will get 
72,000. Now let us find out the percentage of profit earned by Mr. Fernandez. It will be the profit upon the investment. Investment is 1,20,000 and you multiply it by 100. So these three zeros are gone. One of the zero is gone with this. You are left out with 70 upon 12 into 10. So 12 kitte is a 12 six is a 72. 6 tens a 60 percent is his profit. So whose investment is more profitable? Mr. Fernandez investment is more profitable. Okay. So Mr. Fernandez. investment is investment is more profitable Fine. okay